Montage! Works every time! We crashed. Yeah, but we crashed on Genosha! It seems our flight was a little more than the X-Chumps could handle. Ooh, Wolverine! My healing factor came from his DNA. So we're like twins, except he's short and furry, and he smells funny. He loves it when people ask him if they can fly the Blackbird. He's got these awesome adamantium claws that cut through anything, including my body when I piss him off. Are they dead? Oh, Wolby, time to wake up. Where's the giant, Stubby? Wake up. Up and at him. Fine, then. That's for all the clown jokes. That's for never calling just to say hi. That's because I get aroused when I slap people. <laughs> That's for all the furry midgets in the world. That's because I feel like it. Why? Whoa! You! Wait! Up! Wake up! That's because the player keeps mashing the button. That's because I like slapping fleshy things with this hand. That's for being in more comics than me. That's for making me love you. That's for making me hate you. That's for never taking us to the prom! <laughs> That's for always working late. That's for being short. That's for stabbing me in the heart. Literally. That's for never letting me fly the Blackbird except when I crashed it. That's for being the worst wingman in bromance history. That's because I want to see if the player will keep doing this. That's for all the hot gamer girls out there. Hey, call me. That's for being a total douche. That's for never washing the dishes. That's for last year's white elephant gift. Who wants a white elephant? And finally, that's because the whole setup just added five minutes of bonus play to the most awesome game ever devised by mutant or man. I guess he's not waking up. Curious. Looks like we're flying solo, boys. It's as if the next section... Screw the X-Men! Is that a sentinel? Sure is. Impressive, right? You can see how they could destroy this entire island, populated with powerful mutants. Here comes Sinister's lackeys. Guess they saw our Blackbird's, uh, landing? Wasn't exactly so. <laughs> and look at the sweat on this kid. That's Major League talent right there. <laughs> what the hell was that? of a beautiful weapon. Time to get tough, tons of fun. Where are we anyway? The island of Genosha. I'm pretty sure it's some kind of timeshare for mutants. Yeah. Or the site of one of the worst mutant massacres in history. Yeah, no. I'm sticking with timeshare. Look! 
More people that want us dead. Ooh, it gains? That means we're headed in the right direction. No wonder the cops are always blasting me with these things. Shotguns rock! in the bank. Cable? Hey, man out of time. What are you doing here? We haven't seen him since our run in the comics together. Oh, I love reunions. Wade, I need you to listen closely. I've time-traveled from the future to bring you a dire warning about... Oh, God, here he goes again. He's not here ten seconds before he starts boring us with his dire warning from the future crap. Sinister has knocked out the X-Men by broadcast... We may want to pay attention. This could explain a critical plot point. The survival of Earth entirely depends on... Which all hinges on you, Wade. Now here's the critical part. It's so boring. <laughs> Damn it, Wade! Oh, man, did that hurt. So, we give Cable the slip? Looks like he left a note. What does it say? Idiot, meet me at the north end of the city. What? Who the hell is Cable to give us orders in our game? P.S. If you don't arrive within one hour, you'll miss the incredibly large-breasted naked woman who claims to be your biggest fan. Oh, don't fall for that one but, again. But, but what if Cable means it this time? We can't take that chance. Large-breasted naked fan lady, we're on our way. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, you guys see a cute girl walk by here who seems like she might be into a dude who's horribly disfigured? Hello, board, ladies and gentlemen. We're out on the prepared to take off here. Window liquors look the same. Suppose they're related? Could be close. Or brothers? They're gonna be shy a few place any next Christmas. I'll catch! like we rolled a random encounter. If you kill them, they will die. What? Join? Unlucky guy, because that would have taken most people's head clean off. All right, if I was a hot fan girl, where would I be? Probably someplace less infested with bad guys. Good point. Let's make our way up. Who are you supposed to be? like a lesson. Oh, that's 
sounded like foam. Congratulations, Dick. <laughs> For my first date with a fangirl, should we do Italian or Mexican? Mexican? Duh. Good call. Doesn't look like it takes VHS. Let's see if we can find something to put in here. <laughs> and put in there. <laughs> this looks important. Putting our thing in that thing? Ah, it's too easy. <laughs> What's the sound of one robotic arm clapping? Up step. my game. Prime jumping material. Think they call that a glory hole? Safety 
must be getting closer to Fangirl. You smell the perfume too? I thought she would smell better, to be honest. well enough to meet our number one fangirl? Skin tight bodysuit? Check. what that was about, but I don't want to know. Time is short. We need to get you to Magneto's old citadel across the island. Stupid fantasy! Don't worry, we'll land a real girl someday. This is our game after all. Wade, are you listening? Don't even bother with that security tower. Sinister is up there, broadcasting his... Whoa, 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 hold up. Mr. Sinister is up there? As in the S-hole who killed that other A-hole who was my contract? One side, Summers. I got me some business to finish. Damn it, Wade! Stop! We don't have time to mess with the security towers. 